Howdy folks! In today's video we're gonna not talk about the luck of the iris but we're gonna talk about our pets that we have. <laughs> now we don't actually have pet pets because um, when Angelique was little we found out that she was allergic to cats and dogs so we had to get you know uh, rehome our cat and our dog which was a really sad time um, but she's slowly growing out of it so we're all good I think as soon as we've got a forever home we actually settle down properly then we might just get ourselves a pet and once we have our PR approved so we know we don't have to run around the world again <coughs> but that doesn't mean we don't have wildlife around <laughs> so our first uh, pet is Timothy the, the raccoon I don't know why Angelique called him or named him Timothy but Timothy the raccoon he rocks up every couple of days and he just he comes out from under the deck here and he comes and he scratches on the door over here in the morning or in the evening and then he carries on complaining until we throw him a slice of old bread it all started when Angelique put out bread for the birds she had like a little bird house that she put up and she put the bread in there and then the one morning I woke I was working early and I saw the two raccoons in the bread house, in the little bird house taking out the bread so from then on we have had this one raccoon and it's not every day it's like every fourth or fifth day he'll pitch up and he'll be like sweet I just want my bread <laughs> which is cool and then of course our other pets are Laurel and Hardy uh, Belinda named them Laurel and Hardy. It's two little tiny squirrels. They're little baby squirrels still. They literally, I mean, jeez man, those little things are this size. That runs up and down these trees. They play here. Uh, I don't know where they are now. Maybe they don't like me talking so loud over here. But anyway, they play in these trees. They run up and down, up and down, up and down. These two little tiny squirrels. Belinda loves watching them. Um, so that's Laurel and Hardy. She's just worried that the crows will get them or the bobcats because there's bobcats around and then there's crows around. These crows are quite naughty. Um, we were at the shopping center a little while ago and this crow, the, the crows rock up, the dustbin was left open, the lid was off and they literally take all the rubbish out and chuck it on the side of the bin and then they grab the food and they eat it. So they actually empty out the bin. Damn naughty crows. What other wildlife are around here? Obviously the bobcats. The neighbor across the road says that there was a lot less birds and squirrels this year or last year because there's obviously a few more bobcats around that caught them, wildcats. And then of course there's coyotes, which I never knew. There's actually coyotes in this area and they hunt the raccoons, also the squirrels, and I think also the cats. So that's quite cool. I haven't seen a coyote yet. And then occasionally a bear pulls through here um, not sure I want to see one of those but um, yeah and then birds I mean you can hear all the noise it's amazing actually how cool is it you know I've, I've, I actually see more wildlife here than back in Joburg go figure anyway folks you all must have a good one